But you can't have everything you want, can we? Hey everybody, this is Smith. How have you been doing? Hopefully really well. There's a lot going on in the world right now with this new year and people trying to figure out what they want to do with their lives and what the new decade is going to bring us. So, and I kind of am one of those people too. I've been doing a lot of self-reflecting on what do I really want to do, what will my health and home life be able to take, how much it will be able to take in order to get some of the stuff around my house that needs to be done, how much will that impact being able to write posts and different things. With my fibromyalgia, I get brain fog a lot, it's called. It makes it hard to think. It's really problematic and hard to deal with when you never had that problem before. Ideas and things came and you executed them and you didn't have to wait until you had energy to do it. If you thought of something, you could just do it. And I, I can't do that. I can think of something. No, I can't do it this day. But also, then by the time I can maybe do it, I've forgotten about it because I'm not good at writing notes down and that kind of thing. So, a lot of things don't get done. A lot of things around my house organization wise which is really starting to bug me and taking over our house it just needs to be taken care of that's a lot of energy out of me that I wouldn't have to write a post or even do a video it's getting harder and harder to do which has been why I've been doing less videos quite honestly there's been a lot going through my head about my health and the house situation. If I'm going to keep progressively getting worse, which seems to be the trend in my life, I need to take care of some things around my house before I can't do anything. Not saying I'm going anywhere. Cause one of the things that I like about doing videos is, is that I'm sitting here talking and usually by the end it changes from whatever I started talking about to the end. You know, what really is in the back of my mind, working away back there, ends up coming out to the forefront. One of the things that I've been doing a lot of is watching YouTube videos because you don't have to think when you, when you watch them because you're being entertained. So it's my form of TV and there was somebody that popped up in my recommended feed, this YouTuber's hair for her wedding. So I was like, well, okay. I really liked how her hair had turned out. I ended up watching this video, and I can't think of her name right now. I'll, I will put it on the screen. And she was showing different styles that you could do with your hair. One of the things that she did was to take straws and roll her hair up in them. And then she used rubber bands. I used clips because that's what I had. I curled my hair. This this hair is curled with 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 straws. <laughs> and that was a lot of fun. And it was one of those things where you, you go take a shower and wash my hair. I was like, oh. I was like, oh, honey, do do, do you know where those straws are that we have? And Need it, and, and it was funny because we've had a bag of straws for probably 20 years in this house. And I think maybe we've used five of them out of the bag of straws. But it did take a while to figure out where we stuck the bag of straws. <laughs> I think that was the hardest part about this whole little project I did. 
So it was a lot of fun. I put 11 of these straws in my hair. I know I didn't take pictures of it. I was going to, but I didn't because I didn't really think it was going to turn out because my hair is, well this makes it look really full and fluffy, but my hair is actually very fine and one of the things with the medications is, is I'm losing a lot of hair actually, more and more and more. Rolled them up, I didn't put any, I don't use any product in my hair, so I just rolled them around the straw and got it as tight as I could and st stuck it on there and put the little clip on. I think about an hour into it, I took the blow dryer to my head because they were still really wet and I started with damp hair and I was like, well, I'm not going to sleep in these things. Waiting another hour for them to dry. And then I took the one in the back out, and it was still really wet. But I, I had had it with things in my hair, and it was getting pretty late at night. So I took them out, and I was amazed at the amount of curl that it put in my hair. I mean, I, I just, I know the lighting's bad in here, but you can't have everything you want. And then when I took him out, I was like, it, 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 you did have to futz with it a little bit because I had like little wings here and some places where I had it tighter, they were tighter curls, but it was really kind of neat. I mean, I put straws in my hair that we already had and I already had a bunch of little clips. So I just clipped them and walked around and, you know, did laundry while I had straws in my hair. <laughs> I suppose I could have been like a 19, the picture of a 1950s housewife and put a scarf around my head to keep my straws attached. <laughs> I should have done that. I didn't even think of that until, see, I'm learning. Until I was just talking. I really like the way it turned out. I mean, I have more volume in my hair than ever, than I usually do. And it's actually, this is like, I took him out probably three or four hours ago. And it's still holding the curl. So it's a really long lasting curl because normally if I curl my hair or straighten it, it and then put hairspray on it it doesn't last very long I had this my sweater thing on and off over my head a whole I don't know 12 15 times and I've made dinner and all kinds of stuff and I've actually put my hair up and taken it down a bunch and it still has a ton of curl in it so whatever that does really stays. If you're bored or just need some fun in your life, um, I, I'll link the tutorial that I followed, but if you have some straws and some rubber bands or, or rubber bands scare me with my hair because then I don't, I can't afford to lose any more hair than I already have. I like the little clip method. I know they make, she showed different kinds because there was, there's actually little bendy rods you can buy too, also, that do the same thing. And she liked those the best, but I don't, and they weren't expensive. It just, I didn't think it was on my hair actually going to do as well as it did. So, yeah. And I, I'm really impressed. It, I did it very haphazard. My, my goal was to just attach him to my head so I could walk around the house while they dry. I, I didn't do, during her tutorial, it's like, well, if you want it this way, roll one this way, one this way, so that they're all not looking the same. I mean, she goes through in depth, which is what I really liked about her video. This for fun. This was a lot of fun. And it turned out nice. And, yeah, I don't know, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. So, that's my life, and that's what's been going on. Other than that, 
been very tired and my body is um, shutting down. I have to go in for some tests. I don't have energy, so I need to take care of myself, which is what I've been trying to do. I just wanted to pop in and say, hi, that's my story. And thanks for always being there. And I hope if you try it, let me know. And I think this is the third video I've tried to make. <laughs> so, again, uh, that's, yeah, that's pretty much how it's been lately. So, if you don't really see me around, it's, it's just all me. Yeah, my body and mind is needing a rest, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll figure it out. I'll see you next time. Bye!